Hello friends, this is Mick Birdie, and welcome back to The Room. Um, this episode is probably going to start off a little weird because I actually already recorded this episode, but then I lost the video and I wasn't able to recover it. So there's going to be a part, the beginning part I'm going to zoom through because I've already done it and I feel really bad because there is actually some weird stuff that happened in the beginning when I first played this, the beginning of this level. And you guys aren't going to be able to see that, which, I don't know, I thought it was funny. Because there were just some weird little things that just kept happening. It was like, I don't understand why this isn't working. So we're going to be starting over. And so a lot of it I already know. And I apologize. But hopefully that means we get to see more stuff sooner. Okay. Okay. So the letter is basically telling me the parts of the ship that I need to go to. So it's the four mass, the crow's nest, and the cannons. Okay. So the first place we're going to go is here. And this thing's going to spin. Okay. And the bottom's going to spin. And I got a key. Hooray! A key! Okay. Then we're going to the cannons. Which we got to move. Like it said. To the front, or I guess to the side. And now we have a place for the key. I hope this isn't boring for you guys to watch, because this is it's, it's a little. I'm a little bit still upset that I lost that that episode, because there was a lot of stuff in that one. Okay, looks like there's another key. And I just want to make sure there's nothing else. So last time I didn't get to check. Looks like there's a little door. Oh, here's a letter. Uh, a mountain, a moor, a palace, a slum. Why not the quarters of a gallon in full sail? Of a galleon in full sail. With each dizzying step, I am whisked around the globe as simple as turning a corner. Will you be following my path or forging one anew? What sights you must have witnessed if my own experience is any guide? I'll keep leaving notes and I urge you to do the same that we might know if our paths have crossed. Thrilling as this is, there is something not quite right with this place, though I struggle to define what. Some earthy tang of reality that is quite missing. I sometimes fancy I can smell the lime and grease paint. The lime? I don't know what that's about. Um, let's see. Alright, well. Oop. Actually need to move this. And even though it's only half of a piece... Area. And here's a journal. Okay. It's been 30 weeks at sea, and the crew grow restless at our lack of plunder. Though I would not betray it, I share those concerns. A privateer's license is no small investment, and my investors will not be happy without a return. Wow, I said that really weird. According to the prisoners we took off the San Esposito, we should find the Santa Helena in these waters, fresh out of New Granada. They were simply swabs, ignorant of all save workings of the decks, but they spoke of some artifact of great value aboard. I gave them a place among my crew, because I'm cool like that. Because I'm cool like that. Because I'm cool like that. Okay, so initially this puzzle I had already kind of figured out, but apparently if you figure it out on your own, just because you're smart and can see shapes, it doesn't work. You have to find the other pieces that supposedly tell you how to do it, even though you literally can just make the shape by messing around with the dial, and I'll show you what I mean. But first I have to find the other clues that are supposed to help me turn the dial, even though I think it's a little unnecessary and a little overboard. So these things right here are important. Okay, and I'll show you why later. Uh, might as well do... There's one here. Okay, here's the other one. Oh, in case you didn't know what that was for. And then over here. Where is this? And I got another key. It's a strange cylinder. I don't know what this is for. Yeah, I actually don't know what that one is for. Okay, so here's the dial I was talking about. This is a dial. And you can literally just move it around to make the right shape. But you're supposed to find the clues 
So you know the right shape from the stupid clues. So if you look at the other dials, these are supposedly the triangles, and the one that's highlighted is the triangle that they're showing you in the clue. Um, that needs to be highlighted when you turn the dials. So I forget, did I get everything? Yeah, because here's the thing, even if you get the shape right, it won't let you do it because you didn't find the other clues. Which is kind of dumb, but um, I think I'm missing one of the clues. Which one am I missing? Okay, so it wants me to look at the key. Okay, that's right, because the key is the other clue. So the key was the third clue. So now, now, after finding all the, oops, after finding all the lovely clues, now the key's gonna fit. If the clicky thing will work. The keyhole shape does it. Oh, that's right. Sorry. It's it's a straight hat, not a. There we go. Okay, now it'll work. What did I do wrong? This game is super picky. Yes, I need to use those code wheels to let me unlock the chest. Okay, but here's the thing. You can seriously see the shape of the key, right? That's the shape of the key. See? It doesn't work one second, it'll work the next. That's frustrating. Whatever. I'm gonna ignore that part, because that made me take 30 minutes to solve these puzzles, because... It was just like, no, you have to find the other clues. You can't just figure it out by looking at the shape of the key. That's just too easy. All right. So this is where I left off last time. So this part, I have totally no clue what this is about. So let's see. There's these weird mirror thingies. I don't, actually, I don't even know if that's a mirror. Ah, I can see through it. Okay. Oh. That was important, I guess. Okay, so do I need to move that? Oh, this is strange. Okay. So I'm just finding little things to move around. And it opens another thing. That's kind of neat. It's really neat. Okay, let me check this one. Um... Okay, there's the other section. And what is... Okay. There we go. And this is the last one. So I need to unlock this. And spin it. Oop. Come on. And lock it there. Alright. Oh, okay. So I think... Yeah, okay. So that's this guy. So this guy turns into a key. You gotta lift the two levers. Ta-da! Okay, so now this should work here, right? Cool. And we get to speed. This is really interesting and very hard to get into chest. Oh, you can even see the mechanics underneath. That's neat. Oh, it's a map. It's a map of what, though? Let's see. It didn't take long for us to track her down. Oh, excuse me. It didn't take long for us to track her down. We raced north for two miles on the deep sea currents to overhaul her head start. Approaching the mainland, we turned west for two miles to cut her off at the coast. With no sign, we headed three miles back south to meet her. We sighted her sure enough, but she, but she cut through the cape before we could intercept. Now we must wait for the tide. Okay. Obviously, that's a clue. It's a clue! Okay. So... I'm assuming this is the ship. So this is me. So I'm going to assume this is north. So we race north two miles. Okay. Approaching the mainland, we turn west for two miles. Okay. West for... Okay. West for two miles. Then I think it was south for three. Yeah, south for three. One, two, three. Okay. Um, we sighted her sure enough, but she cut through the cape before we could enter. So now we must wait for the tide. What tide is that? Oh, 
Oh, here we go. I pushed the button and it did something. Oh, okay. Even the elements turned against us. Passage through the Cape took us four miles west, so we soon sighted her mass four miles to the north of us. Seeing us in pursuit, she cut west two miles into a fog bank. With her heavy badass, we could easily overhaul her. If only this accursed fog should... Do I need the key? Like, it doesn't... It doesn't look like it's open. I'm sorry. I missed that clue. Oop! My Ooh. bad. Oh, interesting. Okay. I can pull on these. Weird. Very weird. Okay. So what, I need to make the key shape? Is that what this is about? Yes, I hear you beeping at me hints, but it's really unnecessary. And up and over. Ha ha! Okay, I don't- I get it. I don't need any more hints. I'm good. Ah! Okay. So, four west. Oh. Ooh. Shiny paper. We have her now. The fog lifted shortly before noon, and there she was six miles to the south. Rapidly, we closed her down, and she fled east two miles back towards the cape. Now she lies north of us by just one mile. She won't reach the cape again. Hmm. Shiny paper. What is this? Okay, well, how do I know what direction I'm going? Does the compass move? This is so strange. Ah, okay. So there's the other part of the compass. Okay, I thought it was going to be much more harder than that, but oop, oop. Go on. Go on. Just a little bit. Okay. Oh, yay. Did that do something? Well, I can't move it anymore, so I guess it did. Okay, so six miles to the south. One. Huzzah! We did it! There's another clue! And I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop it right here because this went on a bit long. I got- I'm sorry. I got a little- a little, like, deep into the puzzle there. Okay. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and post more episodes of this series if you guys like. Um, and then, like, I'm sorry, I just can't talk. Anyways. <laughs> oh, this makes for great videos. Okay. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you find this game as interesting as I do. Because as you can tell, I get really deep into this game. I'm just like all about the puzzles. And, you know, I'm sorry if I'm quiet too much. But I just, I'm just concentrating. I can't help it. And even though this game sometimes frustrates me, like, there's other parts where I'm just like, oh, yes, let me find the puzzle. Let me do it. Okay. But, yeah, enough babbling from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, just be sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos that I've done. Um, and just, you know, have fun with it. And let me know what you think down in the comments below. Anyways, thanks you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>